good YouTube, it's your boy Johnny Finesse. Welcome back to the channel. And today we got the sad reality of beautiful women today. Now this these videos have been popping up on my recommended. That's not the third. And I see other people reacting to it, so I'm gonna react to it. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. We on the road to 800 subscribers, y'all. So I need y'all to hit that sub button. So this is the sad beautiful women today. This is how fees and today's video we need to right have a conversation a much needed updated conversation talk to me about the harsh truth about baddies in 2019 guys i did a video called the truth about baddies if you haven't seen that video the link is in the description yeah, that's two below. years later in that video, I told the story about how, similar to most guys, I love baddies. I love these really attractive women. I love these Instagram models. You know, I love these video girls. I love them so much. And all I ever wanted was to be with one of them. And then eventually I got to the position in my life where I got the exact girl that I wanted, the exact body, every single thing that I wanted, all the bells and whistles, I got those are not built for insecure niggas. Those are not built for insecure niggas. I repeat one more time. Those are not built for insecure people. Got it. And in the video, I shared how meaningless it was, because what you find out is that no matter how beautiful the woman, no matter how bang in the body, if there's nothing inside, it is all meaningless. That's a fact. That's like that's like the um, that's like that that crappy patty from from um spongebob where it just shows a beautiful ass burger and then inside is just gray paste and stuff i know y'all watched that episode before but yeah it's like that a lot of you guys because usually usually that some video, a lot of you guys have shared with me how much you enjoy that video people. and recently i was on fresh and fits after hours podcast shout out to fresh and fit if you guys haven't checked out the full podcast the link to that episode is also in the description below and what these guys do is they go ahead and they bring on women to be able to sit down on the panel and have a discussion guys when i came into the room me personally i wasn't really trying to debate i was just trying to listen to learn to converse and just have a good time and what you saw happen really quickly is that the women in the room a lot of these girls hundreds of thousands of followers only fans account probably guys sending them money left and right you saw them show just how bad their character was you saw them yeah. show how immature they were you saw them show how disrespectful they were and the sad reality is they that left. so many women, especially women with a lot of followers, especially women who are very attractive, that is how they behave, like immature children. And the worst part about that story is that so many men incentivize that behavior. And they let, yeah, they let that imagine happen. Imagine this, I'm not guys. Lie. Imagine some, some, there was a child. Some niggas let that happen, but some niggas don't. The niggas that let that happen got money and they don't care because they, they fucking and it's like, bro. But at the same time, it's like, come on. Every single time they threw a temper tantrum, got a lollipop. So they're in the store. They want something. They throw a temper tantrum, throwing stuff, crying, having a fit. They get a lollipop. They're in school. They want to, you know, go on recess when everyone else is studying. They throw a fit. They get a lollipop. What you see is now that child is being conditioned and being rewarded for bad behavior. That child is learning that regardless of what I do, I, I noticed that I noticed that spoiled kids do that shit. Spoiled I will kids always get shit. a positive outcome. So what's the point of behaving? And that child becomes entitled, that child becomes spoiled, and that child becomes a nuisance and a headache to so many people. And that is far too many baddies and extremely attractive women because what they yeah. realize is that men will do whatever they ask them and they don't have to behave. They can create an OnlyFans account. That's a fact. As I said before, some men are not going to, so they're going to go to the men that are going to. And they can be able to get money from guys all across the world. And they can get you guys to buy them purses, mm -hmm. take them on vacation, treat them to lavish dinners. They can do whatever they want. They can cuss you out. They can have a fit. They can key your car. They can do whatever they want. And then they will always get what they want. 
because unfortunately men don't respect and value themselves that's a fact unfortunately men are so obsessed with having sex with these chicks that they tolerate nonsense and then we wonder why things never change then we wonder why these women behave in this way and what's interesting that you that when you're seeing some of the conversation and you're and you're watching um, shout out to the godfather himself kevin samuels content with the older women and you're like oh my gosh it's so bad with the older women but what fresh yeah. and fit are showing us is is also with the younger girls and the younger generation are so entitled and they're not incentivized to do what's right why i have hundreds of guys but this is not all women though guys blowing up my dms why should i be kind to you i have hundreds of guys wanting to take me out why do i gotta be, re be respectful i have hundreds of guys sending me money why do i need to listen to you and actually allow you to talk in a conversation they never learn these things we live in such an unhealthy toxic culture that allows women to act like children without any consequences and sadly so many men tolerate it i don't tolerate. so it. many men have put in value on the parts of a woman instead of putting the value on the whole person and that's what like i did for one but after that i never tolerated it again because because the experience the experience of me doing that is like bro i just did all this and you feel and you feel like you you you're like come on no but you don't realize guys you don't live with the parts yeah some of you guys see a chick big old booty you love it you don't just live with the booty you live with the mouth you yeah. live with the mind you live with the spirit that's the things that you live with those are the things that are going to cause you stress those are the things that are going to bother you every single day that's what so many men don't understand because we have this halo effect this psychological thing that goes on in our mind when we simply see an attractive woman and we think they're so awesome. We think they're so amazing because they're so beautiful and their bodies are so exceptional. We see them post on social media, they're highlights. They're highlights. We see them take a thousand pictures and post the best picture. And then we simply think, oh, that's them. Oh my gosh, they're so amazing. Oh my gosh, he's so wonderful. Like sometimes, sometimes when you see like, like when you see them and then you actually link some of them, they look different. Not not like ugly different, but like you don't, you don't look as good as you do on the, as the, on the pictures on Instagram. Like you like a tad lower. Like you like, this is your Instagram and this is you. Like you, and you just like, wow. When she's actually a siren. A beautiful seductress that the closer and closer you get to her, you're getting closer and closer to destruction. And that's the sad truth. I literally, like, one of my co-workers' relatives died off of that shit. Like, she, like, he got brain dead off of that shit. Like, a blood vessel popped in his brain. And I guess the fluid in there made him brain dead. I don't fully know the story because I didn't really. It was none of my business. She told me because, like, we were supposed to do something and then, like, nah, nah. It was just, he just had a lot of stress from his fiance, stress from everywhere else. For bro. so many of these and women, like, and nah. then they try to complain about men. Yeah. Then they have the audacity to complain about men with their terrible attitudes, with their terrible dispositions, oh, he's going with crazy. their spicy mouths, with he's their blatant going, disrespect. Then they have the audacity I'm to complain about off. men. This is my favorite Zero game. accountability. It's all childlike behavior. If you if you literally go to preschool and examine how do these babies behave in preschool, and then you take these women and put them in a room, you will see very exactly similar behavior. If, and if you ask me, you probably see better behavior from the kids than the actual adults. Am I saying that every single baddie or beautiful no, woman is like that? True. No. But if I'm being honest, it's a vast majority of them because the culture that, that we've created as a society is pushing them out like hotcakes. So I've always told you men, beauty is important. They want that because sex sells. That's why. They want, like... Like sex sells.
That's what the government wants. And I, you know me, I love beauty. They push that because but without sex without character, it means nothing. But know what's so sad? There is thousands of guys who, after hearing this message, still will not care. Because they got money. After hearing this message, thousands of guys will go back to paying for these women's OnlyFans. Thousands of guys will go back to following these women on social media, giving them likes and giving them fake validation. I could do that. That's free. That's free, though. That's free, though. That's free. That's free. As long as they follow me back, that's free. That's free. Thousands of guys. I ain't going to comment, though. I'm going to give them a like. But that's free. Will continue to give them money to do all these things to worship them. I'm broke, baby. To continue to perpetuate this cycle. Because not enough men respect themselves to not tolerate nonsense. And one of the things I've come to realize. Roommates. One of the things I've come to realize that show a man really being a high value man. And what I've come to learn is the type of woman he tolerates is synonymous to his value. Straight up. You want to see a low value man? I guarantee you, Pornhub, um, you see OnlyFans, you see them dealing with women left and right, buying them stuff. You see them always being a pushover. Hey, I like Pornhub. You bugging. You see them being a doormat? That's low value because he doesn't even value himself. But when a man is truly high value, when a man is really respected by other men and desired by other women, when a man is really produced in society, a valuable asset to society, a valuable contributor to society, somebody that's went out into the world, experienced the world, navigated the world, and conquered the world, that man does not tolerate those kind of women ever. It is impossible. You will never choose a headache if you have options. A high value man will never, ever, ever, if he has an option to choose a headache or to choose peace, he will never choose a headache. Never choose a headache. And we need to start talking about that. We need to start valuing that. Because so many of you guys think just because you had sex, now you're a man. But if you- no, wait, you just had sex. That's it. Now she thinks she's entitled to everything now. That's how you're paying you. for the sex. Basically, if you're begging for the sex, if basically. you're getting treated like crap to get the sex, if you're being ghosted and flaked upon and treated like you're a- I mean, honestly, honestly, if you get the sex and you're begging for the sex and you just tuck, bro, that you know what I'm saying? Second class citizen and begging, that, and, begging and begging and begging and here. begging and begging and yeah. paying and paying and paying and paying. And then you get the sex, that don't mean nothing. You are even lower value than anybody else. I don't care how she looks. How do you carry yourself as a man? So men, in closing, here is the reality that I want you to remember. Here is a truth that I want you to always remember and tattoo it on your arm. I'm not tattooing shit on my arm. Write it on your notes. Maybe. Have a poster about it on your wall. That's a nice picture. In the book of Proverbs, one of the wisest the men to ever live is a man by the name of King Solomon. And in the book of Proverbs, he talks about women so many times. That is? And he talks about wives so many times and there's a verse that every single man needs to memorize in the book of proverbs and what that verse is is proverbs 21 9 that says it is better to live on a corner of the roof than share a house with a quarrelsome wife I'm going to just pause it so everybody can see it and look and understand. It's better to be free and happy than to be trapped. It is better to live on your roof with thunderstorms and rains and blizzards 
and heat waves, it is better to live on your roof than to live in a house that's beautiful, that's immaculate with a quarrelsome woman because that headache is never worth it. So men, no matter how amazing the parts of a woman may be, if the whole person isn't peaceful, isn't feminine, isn't kind, what we do, we open the door, we show them the streets, and we lead them to it. Because from the streets, they came, and to the streets, they, they shall return. <laughs> My name is Hafiz from The Roommates. That's Thank you, guys. That's guy. It's crazy. I think want to see this interview. I think want to see this interview. Put in the comment section down below if y'all want me to react to it. It's kind of long, but I'll react to it if y'all let me react to it. Put in the comment section down below if y'all want me to react to it.